Hey, hey, Sagittarius, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your May 2024 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Sag, second chances, new beginning showing up for you, bottom of the deck. You're getting honest with yourself or if you have gone through a situation regarding betrayal, you're overcoming that, you're healing that, and you're moving forward is what I'm picking up on. Seven of Swords, bottom of the deck. Now, I'm also getting the name Heather. Heather could be your name, maybe someone you're dealing with, could be a loved one in spirit. And I'm getting Romania as well. If you're from Romania, or perhaps you have ties there, or maybe that's a place you wanna visit. Now I am getting as well that a lot of you have gone through some karmic experiences and some deep lessons, possibly around your health, okay? This may be around mental health, working on blockages. I see a lot of swords out here, two of swords, Five of Swords, okay, maybe not a lot of Swords, but I see mental energy being put into your healing, possibly something over the past. Some of you could write a book. I'm just going to tell you, you could write a book on your life story. Maybe you people have said that to you. Maybe people wouldn't believe you, but I feel like you have a story to tell, and I'm also seeing a lot of you are healers. Okay, you, you do have healing showing up here and you have soul lessons. So some of you may have gone through some major soul lessons to help you raise the vibration of the planet by you ascending as well. Because your first card out here is ascension. This is about soul advancement. It's about personal growth, meditation. A lot of you are connecting to your higher self. This is going to help you heal on a deeper, more profound level. You have the kiss. There's also another, another sign that received the kiss. I think this may have been Taurus energy. So Sagittarius, you could be dealing with the Taurus or if you have Taurus placements in your chart, you may wanna check that out. So again, your first themed card is Ascension. This is a sense of awareness. Awareness of our thoughts, awareness of what's going on within our bodies, awareness of the surroundings and the energies around us. So you are feeling quite sensitive at this time. Your spidey senses are very activated and I do feel like you've grown and I feel like you've grown in your connection to get closer to yourself. And maybe that was a struggle for you at times is to trust your own intuition, to get in touch with your emotions and your thoughts and your feelings, and to also recognize the soul journey that you are having here on earth. This is all about inner growth, karma, past life, and we have memories showing up. Some of you could even be rectifying some past life karma. Okay, I'm also seeing here, if you were dealing with a person of the past, it may have been karmic in nature, a family member, a relationship, a person from your job or your career that may have been short-lived or it could have been something quite, uh, quite long, quite drawn out for some of you, but there's a lot of growth here and I feel like you are being given this second chance. You have the judgment card in your main energy and it's showing up in the upright. The judgment is letting go of regrets and you see the word karma on her necklace, K-A-R-M-A. -A. Some of you may have a name that starts with an R, a K-A or an, even an M. I'm also hearing here Todd. Todd could be significant. Now this is also about strength, learning, and teaching. And some of you, again, are learning how to raise your vibrations and overcome some trauma, some situations where you may have been limited in your beliefs in order for you to help heal others. Perhaps you do that on a professional level, or this could be healing ancestral cycles. This could be healing 
those that come after, right? It's, it's ancestral and legacy as well. So perhaps your children or I'm getting young people or baby souls, people who may not have a lot of experience on this earthly plane. You may be guiding them to learn more about this lifetime, okay? Or learn more about the healing options that they have. Because I feel like a lot of you Sagittarians listening are old souls here. And you are a teacher, but you had to go through that student period yourself. We have memories. May could be a significant month for you. As in there could have been a loved one that has crossed over. May could have been a celebratory month of some way, shape, or form. Maybe it was an anniversary or is an anniversary. So I feel like there's also going to be new memories being made in the month of May. And you could even be rewriting. Now this is a very important message coming in from your guides. You may be rewriting over old patterns, old conditioning, and old beliefs. Because you are replacing them with something more uplifting, something healthier, something more positive. Because remember, your main energy is ascension. And you have the judgment card here, which says earned rewards. And in the past, you felt like there were negative consequences that you were dealing with, that you were going through. But it was for your ascension, for your personal growth, for your soul advancement. And a lot of you, yeah, this is really quite a beautiful energy. You could be sharing your story. Maybe it's online. Maybe you're journaling, writing a book. You could be connecting and talking to a therapist, a coach, a mentor. And this is helping you move forward instead of just focusing on the past. Because I feel like a lot of you, you don't want to focus on the past. You want to reassess your priorities and move forward instead of feeling like you are being set back in some way, shape, or form. Now, you also have the healing card. This is all about recovery, closure, loss, grief, support, health, and Reiki. Some of you could be working on your health or helping others through alternative forms of therapy, such as energy healing, crystal singing bowls. You may be practicing meditation as we see here. This could also be healing through EMDR. If you're not familiar with this, hypnotized, uh, being hypnotized, I'm also seeing that as well. And I feel like you're testing out many different modalities. Oh, they're showing me here some sort of infusion, okay? Some of you may be getting like a hydro infusion or you're getting a burst of healthy juices or healthy water, healthy hydration, and I feel like it's pumping through your body. Some of you may have even needed some sort of uh, fusion in the past. Maybe it was a blood fusion. Maybe it was some sort of uh, energy flow going through your energy centers here. But I feel like you're getting a good dose of it in the month of May. I'm also getting sleep. Okay, some of you may have been having a difficult time sleeping. Perhaps you were having some nightmares of the past. Some of you may be astral traveling more in your sleep state. So this is quite significant. You have a lot of reversals here in the so-called challenging cards, which means you are releasing a lot of, of stuff from the past. Bottom of the deck, you have soul lessons. That's that inner growth, that karma. You also have timing and you have soul purpose. So Sag, this has been... For some of you, an ongoing maybe battle at times, uh, a fight for health or a fight to keep something afloat, keeping your mental health afloat. Some of you have suffered from anxiety or depression, but the great energy that I feel coming in is you are strengthening your sense of security and abundance within, and you are making a judgment call in the month of May. Someone could be yeah, someone's making a judgment call. The universe saying, okay, you've learned some very valuable lessons. The timing is ripe. This is divine timing. This is results. It's your patience and 
that waiting period is over. I feel like you have been diving into life purpose and a lot of you may even be a little bit tired of putting so much energy into your healing and into your well-being. And I feel like this is a month for you to have fun, right? Reassess, but write, rewrite over those old limiting patterns, beliefs, and habits. And it's important for you to have this brand new beginning because I see the Ace of Wands and there has been delays. We see that with the timing. There's been delays. But this is about searching for the meaning. This is about you reigniting that fire within. And I see that showing up here with this Ace of Wands. Fire energy, this is you. So it's important that you know you are moving forward in the right direction and you have guidance and you're not alone. And some of you have felt very isolated, very alone. A lot of the cards that I see here are one person. And even on the Two of Swords, which is your first card out, it does talk about overthinking, right? Overthinking choices, overthinking your life purpose, memories of the past, even overthinking your self-care and self-development and self-healing at times. So sometimes this Two of Swords can really get in our way. It can be indecision. It can be lying to oneself. It can be needing to connect with the soul of who you are. And that may be why you have that seven of uh, swords at the bottom of the deck. I just pulled the top one and there's the 10 of swords. So there's all that sword energy I was picking up on in the beginning. That's that mental conflict, right? That's coming to an end. You've gone through a lot of deep anguish. Here you are lifting it. Okay. This is you lifting that anguish. It is about making a, a difficult choice but I feel like it's a healthier choice. It's for your highest good. And that choice may have to do with reassessing some priorities in your life because double two showing up right away, there's gonna be some choices for you to face here. Twos are all about partnerships. And like I said, both of these individuals are by themselves. So perhaps this could be about receiving help, not feeling like you have to go it alone not feeling like you are separated from the divine, from the universe, from God source, whatever you call your higher power, because it's right here. You're ascending, you have help, you have support. You have healed a lot of the wounds or the anguish deep within, but at the same time, you still replay that story out over and over and your body is saying, and your soul is saying, Sagittarius, catch up, right? Catch up, we're up here now. We don't have to go back reliving something of the past. It's time to move forward. And that's why this judgment call is being made for you. On the two of coins here, this is about choosing a path that offers you opportunities to find balance in your life. When the Two of Pentacles shows up, it says you can multitask. You can find that balance in your work life, your play life, your relationships, your health. And this is what we're constantly striving as souls having a human experience. We're constantly striving to find that balance. But I also feel like you've put a lot of attention towards an area of your life and I feel like it's time to draw back your energy a tad bit. So for example, if you've been working, working, working and overworking to the point of maybe mental exhaustion or missing out on love, or, you know, maybe you've been going deep, deep, deep within your healing that you haven't allowed yourself to have a little fun, I feel like you're reining in your energy a little bit more to find balance. And that's what this month is all about. Where have I been lacking in other areas and putting so much time and attention and focus because I wanted to ascend? And Sagittarius, I feel like when you're all in, you're all in, right? You, you really hit the ground running in something that you feel very passionately about. But I feel like the judgment horn is blowing for you this month and it's saying okay we've our, we've learned right this is a second chance this is your purpose this is your calling this is that sole purpose that we see coming out subconsciously so you may not even be aware when this judgment horn blows and says it's time we're changing our life for the better 
This is an evaluation. It's an awakening. It is a rite of passage and a major rebirth. So for those of you that may be hanging on to bitterness, anger, maybe forgiveness required here. This is also about letting go of regrets. This can be letting go of criticism and self-doubt that perhaps you have placed on yourself. I'm getting shame. I'm getting humiliation. I'm getting the six of wands in reverse even. And we'll clarify here as well some of these energies. But I do feel uh, that you have been taught at some point or another that you're not good enough, right? And you are. Or perhaps that's a story that you told yourself, but you are good enough. So a lot of you are flipping the script here with the divine help, and I see help from others coming in as well that can absolutely help you strengthen your sense of security, maybe in the financial world, perhaps within your health. This is the king of coins. When he is in the upright, he secures his abundance. This can be a new home, right? It could be a new job, not even new, but it could be strengthening what you already have. If this is a home matter, right? How can you put more attention to maybe your, your financial matters, your home, your health, something that is tangible in this material world? You are taking a deep look at and you are reassessing where you've been lacking energy here and you're strengthening it. That's what I see. You're strengthening. The King of Pentacles, this is focusing on success, focusing on money, focusing on health, focusing on the, the physical or material world. But most importantly, how you show up in the world. That's what I'm getting here for you. And maybe there was some financial struggles. I do see for some of you, there was uh, a bad investment, maybe debt. There could have been bankruptcy, homelessness. You may have lost a job, went through a job ending. Okay, and I feel like there's a, a judgment call being made this month that's going to offer you a new beginning, a motivated new beginning after a time of feeling a lot of mental conflict, five of swords in reverse. This is compromise, right? And instead of a ruthless win, instead of feeling defeated because, you know, everyone's out for the same job, or if this is a relationship feeling like you're constantly back and forth fighting, arguing, turmoil, struggle, that really kind of sucker punched you to the solar plexus, to the gut area, right? And an energetic sucker punch where you just lost your sense of security and who you were, who you are. And I feel like that is the judgment call that is coming in here for you. So here's your motivated beginning after a lot of useless delays, but maybe those delays were significant. And I feel like the reason why I think it says useless is because, you know, the blindfold is on the two of swords. She don't know where the heck she's going, right? She, the way I like to see the two of swords is in trying to navigate in the middle of the night, you, you get up to use the restroom, you're in a brand new home or a brand new place that you've never been in. It's pitch black. You can't see a thing. You have your arms up trying to feel the walls. You're hoping that you don't step on a pet, right? Or step on a Lego. And you're hoping that you're able to, to wander into the right room. And even though there's lights available, you don't know where they're at. So it is like aimlessly heading towards a goal, but you're not quite sure how the heck to get there. You're trusting blind faith that you're going to make it at some point or another. And the two of swords can be overthinking, right? It can be, you know, putting the hand on the wall and you're, you end up downstairs an hour later. And so there may have been useless delays. If there were just some lights, just some, you know, clarity that was offered, you would be able to get to point A to B quite quickly, but perhaps there were some obstacles in your way for you to trust in yourself, for you to learn patience, or for you to make some choices for yourself that caused you to reassess while you were going through those darker days or those darker nights. Now, with this Ace of Wands, I am getting 
the first couple of weeks. I mean, wands can be days, it can be weeks, but there is something about the beginning of May is going to be significant for you. So even if there is a delay, maybe you're starting a new health routine, right? May 1st rolls around, uh, you're starting a health routine here, but then you fall off on, you know, uh, Friday. Try to get back into this routine and don't give up on yourself, right? Uh, if you have been rejected or denied in the past, if you've been going through something blindly, right, and maybe you've applied for a job and there's been rejection or you haven't heard from them, I feel like it's important to try to keep this momentum and motivation the best that you can. Because we do see the Five of Swords showing up here. No one to fight for something, no one to walk away. And that's kind of what I was getting uh, of you kind of reining it in a little bit. And if you've been focusing so much on one area, let's try to find that center, find that balance and spread the energy. Because I feel like your chakras may feel a little bit lopsided, right? Because we may be focusing on something so intently that we're not giving to other centers, other energy centers or other areas of our body that could use a little bit of TLC. All right, let's look at wealth, career, finances. Some of you have shifted the way you think of abundance, right? Or shifted your mindset. There was some sort of ending here or mental health disturbed. There may have been a bad investment, financial challenges. Some of you are living off savings. You may have been dealing with office work, a night shift, or something came to an end here for you. It's almost as if I feel that some of you were in a, I'm getting dead end job or it was sucking the life out of you, hence the coffin, right? Some of you were in a position where you just felt like you were going along blindly, right? You may have felt like you were on a robot mode or default mode and you really wanted something to end here. And then we have the heart showing up. This is emotional spending. It's about joint finances being supported. Now we also have the counselor and guide card and we did mention that earlier as well. So some of you, you would make an excellent guidance counselor or therapist, mentor, healer, soul coach, uh, or this is about having a job that you love. Yeah, because some of you, there was a tireless, you know, draining, sucking the life out of you type of uh, vibe going on here, but you're switching the game. That's this judgment, judgment call for those of you that are focusing on career or abundance. You want a job that you love, but finances may have been a contributing factor, right? Maybe that's why you were going blindless or aimlessly moving forward because the finances were there uh, or at least able to keep you moving forward. But I also feel if something came to an end, there may have been a lot of panic, a lot of worry, a lot of mental stress and overthinking. What am I going to do now? How do I live? How do I survive? And for those of you that, you know, you have made a shift currently, I feel like you are supported. And there's also a new soul contract or a business contract coming in here for you. This is the gift of money. This is business uh, deals, transactions. This can be documents. Some of you, this may even be writing, clerical work, paperwork, staying put. So whatever this job is that you love, whatever energy you are opening your heart to, this is long term. That's why something needed to come to an end. And if this wasn't a physical job that came to an end, it's a mental energy, a mental conflict, something you've nailed, nailed down, right? Nailed the, the coffin down, you've buried it, you've put it in the past, and it's time for you to fully open up here uh, because you're supported when it comes to having a job that fully supports you financially, emotionally, abundantly. There's a lot of prosperity here available to you and I feel like you've just started to tap into that energy. All right, what else do we have here for Sag? Ooh, look at that. We have some unexpected income along with ch -ch -ch changes. There's the butterfly. So we do have some big changes coming in here for you and that's that judgment call, right? When this horn blows, you can't help but, you know, look up, right? You look up, you pay attention. This is a, a gift from the universe here saying, karmic de debts are paid, 
We, we are changing the script here and this looks good. Now, a lot of you have been working overtime or you may find that you have more energy and more momentum in the month of May to get your stuff done is what I feel. And that's that motivated beginning. That's that reigniting of the fire within you. All right, we also have internship. Some of you are learning more about your business, more about your line of work. Uh, this can also be new people coming on board because we do have that administrative and the clerical. Some of you may be bringing someone into the business or if you're a business owner to help you with some of those everyday tasks, okay? I also feel for some of you, you may have children that are going off to school, going off to college, maybe they are taking some additional classes or studying, or you are, and that could bring in some income. I also see for those of you that are trying to build an online community, maybe through learning or courses, classes, workshops, retreats, I feel like that could bring in unexpected income for you as well. I'm also getting travel. Some of you are thinking about travel here. Okay, you may be thinking about going on a spiritual retreat is what I'm picking up on. Maybe a healing retreat, yoga retreat, silent retreat, ayahuasca, something of that nature. All right, let's look at love. We do have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Because some of you, that may have been that karmic cycle, karmic relationship. For others of you, I feel like you are healing maybe the parent-child if you have children yourself. Uh, there is some family dynamics here that are being worked out. And there could be second chances available here for you. Even if your parents are deceased. Even if they've crossed over. Right? We don't have to have them physically here to be able to heal and to have that closure and to forgive and to move onward and to ascend. And I see that you are making uh, loads of progress here when it comes to healing family dynamics and ancestral, uh, ancestral wounding. We have love yourself first. This may have been the energy that you've been in for quite some time, regardless of relationship status. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You've been in the energy of self-love, giving yourself big old hugs and telling yourself you have what it takes, right? And doing the work. And your guides are proud of you for doing the work. Your next step is trust. Trust this situation because it's calling for you to have faith. It's calling for you to have hope. They're showing me the star energy. And actually, look at this. We have the little fairy lights, which almost looks like stars in the memories. So because something may not have worked out in the past or because you may have been feeling like you're reassessing everything and making some choices in your life, it may be difficult at times to trust. But I feel like hope is something that could really guide you at this time because that is the the north star right not giving up on your dreams staying you know positive and healing and hope and moving forward because it's very inspirational and spirit is saying trust we have your back right we have your highest good in mind and lastly you have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together beautiful so if you are in a relationship currently, or if you've just met someone, or if you've been married for 15, 20 years, I feel like there could be some holiday time or a second honeymoon or even an anniversary. Now here in the US, we have Memorial Weekend towards the end of May, and you may be traveling. Maybe you'll be out on a boat for some of you. You could live near Rome or Italy, or maybe that's on your list. I'm also getting an energy of Washington. Now, I don't know if this is Washington State or Washington, D.C. Take it as it resonates. You may live there. Maybe you have a layover or you could be traveling there as well. Or Washington could be someone's name. Okay, maybe it's George. Uh, but we have here some fun times, fun times coming in for you. For those of you that are single, I feel like it is important for you to know that you have support. People are trying to, to reach out to you. It doesn't have to just be romantic relationships, but I do feel here for you that people want to be with you. They want to support you. They want to love you. They want to be a part of your life. So let them. 
right? Sometimes we seclude ourselves, we isolate ourselves thinking that we have to do it all alone because maybe that's been the case. But I feel like you are moving forward here in a brighter energy and you see that yes there's some clouds in the background but they're dispersing here and you see the sun is coming out so I feel like the sun will come out tomorrow or the sun will come out in May for you uh, so maybe some of you are singing that Annie song let's clarify some of the energies here for you Sagittarius let's take a look at the healing I want to take a little bit of a look at the healing here what do we have for Sagittarius? The Seven of Wands. Yeah, remember what I said earlier? I was getting the Six of Wands, but the Seven of Wands is finding your peace without feeling that every little thing that comes in is burst in your bubble. Because you can see that all this woman wants to do is meditate, right? She's in the meditation pose. She is keeping her space open. She's in her own little world there. But at any given moment, the seven of wands comes in and it pokes her bubble and that bubble pops. So what I feel like you are healing is defensiveness or feeling offended. This is feeling pressure coming in from all angles, looking people looking for a fight or drama. This can be being on guard. To me, it's fight or flight at times, right? We want to find our peace. That's that balance that we were talking about earlier. And this is something that you've worked on and been working on for quite some time. And most likely you'll continue to work on this area. But I do feel like this is getting to a point. You're getting to a place where this isn't bothering you as bad as maybe it was. And when I say this isn't bothering you, it could be many different things. It could be a certain person. It could be, you know, any energies here of the past that may have really did a number on you. I feel like you're healing and you're allowing yourself to have, you know, more, more space to breathe, to set boundaries, healthy boundaries, and to focus on your own bobber as they say right focus on your own bobber sagittarius all right what else do we have for healing king of pentacles again and there's the stars with the three of, of cups celebrating your sense of security some of you there may have been third party energy just putting that out there not for all of you it doesn't have to mean cheating it can just be focusing so much time and energy on something else and we talked about that earlier if you were giving a lot of energy towards something that you may have been neglecting something else right or someone in your world was giving so much attention to something else but it may have been affecting your own relationship and your own stability that's what you're healing king of pentacles king of coins showing up twice in your reading so that's what you're healing is your sense of uh, weakened security and for those of you if this was a job someone may have gotten chosen uh, instead of you and you felt defeated and I feel like it's caused you to kind of get into that fight or flight and defense mechanism and and you're being guided to find peace find solace and really look to this energy of you know purpose that everything happens for you not to you right we want to stay out of that victim mentality and you are moving forward here with more grace and more ease let's take a look at the judgment card here and then we'll take a look at the kiss card okay judgment energy please why is the judgment here for sagittarius the high priestess with the judgment this is some deep deep inner knowing uh, this could even be a deep spiritual connection with yourself, with the divine, with a partnership. When the high priestess shows up with the judgment, this is a clear knowing that you are meant to change your life. This isn't just the one day I'm doing this and then boop, the judgment comes in. You've known about this for quite some time. You've known, you've felt, you are highly intuitive. You're highly sensitive to what's going on around you, but you may have held back a little bit you may have hid behind the curtain as the high priestess sometimes does because she's aware that's that sense of awareness that we see in the ascension card so a lot of you have strengthened your intuitive muscle right you've strengthened your spiritual gifts 
And I feel like this judgment call that's being made is going to open your crown chakra up because some of you may have even felt a little bit blocked intuitively or blocked from who you are, who you are on a deep soul level. And the high priestess Cancerian energy is the hush hush divine feminine. It is about opening up to your divine feminine, receptivity, receiving help, as we said, receiving downloads, receiving guidance. That's what the divine feminine is. Regardless if you're female or male, we have both aspects within ourselves. And this judgment is saying it's time to open up and let the world in. Let people love you. Let people help you. Let yourself be open to the blessings and the opportunities coming in. And some of you may have been saying, oh, Melissa, I have been open. I've been trying. I've been working. I've been putting myself out there and I just keep getting slammed, right? A door slammed in the face or, or a coffin in this case here. But I do feel for a lot of you, this divine feminine is part of the judgment. You will start to see big changes happening in your world. And I feel it's because you're opening up on ways that you never thought possible. And for some of you, it is an activation of the crown chakra. So if you're not familiar with the crown chakra, you may want to look into that because that is your belief system. That's your higher power. That's your connection to the divine. That is your soul purpose. And this is, you know, a deep awakening. So I'm loving this energy. Now let's take a look at the kiss. I'm just going to find the, uh, the book for this and we'll get the message for you. So again, for those of you that may have any Taurus placements, uh, you may want to check that out if you're dealing with the Taurus, uh, especially for those of you with Taurus moon or Taurus maybe north or south nodes, you could check that out. This is about the touch, the chemistry, the sex. Before a first kiss, the air is electrified. Each breath is alive with possibility and magic. What will their lips be like? Their tongue? Do they want me in return? The archetypal energy of the kiss is a heightened sensation of merging with other, of letting in what was moments ago separate to become one. We talked about that energy here. You have two showing up left and right. We talk about the divine feminine, right? This is about merging and connecting with source energy or with the energies of others here on this physical plane. Two becomes one. It is risky, but beautiful business. These moments forever change us as we move past the solitary self toward union and acceptance. This card suggests true intimacy is around the corner, which requires bravery and surrender. When the kiss takes a non-human form, it may be experienced as touching the sacred, hearing a whisper, or being graced by a divine being. You will recognize the presence of the kiss by cold chills and an awakening of the heart. Beautiful. This is beautiful energy. It says here when this is in the upright, okay, because some of you are dealing with sacral chakra, sexual energies, intimacy, trust. We have that trust coming up in your romance sector. Some of you are dealing with healing the sacred or the divine womb, the divine feminine here. This is sensual expressiveness. It's merging. It's inviting. And when it is in the reverse, it is neediness, pressure, dominance, or disrespect. And that was another thing that came up here. Remember, the loving yourself first says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So perhaps you have been disrespected in some way, shape, or form, or you yourself have even disrespected you know, yourself or others at times, right? It's non-judgment. We don't need to judge with the judgment card here. We can see it as an opportunity for growth and for healing and release. Write down the story of your first kiss. What was changed in that moment? Intimacy is multi-layered and requires our reflection. Revisit what you consider to be sensual, taboo, acceptable, and shameful. And that was the energy of that six of wands I was picking up on earlier as well with maybe shame or 
healing of sexual dynamics, maybe family. This can be past relationships. So you are deepening your spiritual connection with another here on earth or with the divine within you. I love this energy here, Sag. I hope this resonates, beautiful souls. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thank you so much for tuning in. Lots of love.